It is frigid outside 10 degrees, feels like minus eight. But guess what? It's sold out for number five, Xavier, against the Providence Friars. Important to see how they get Rodney Bullock involved early, missed the last game due to flu. Here's Bullock hitting the three early on. Good in. As it blocked this time, try to put some pressure on that defense of Xavier. Get the refs involved as well. Alpha Diallo does put it on the floor. Jones against Watson. Jones, no whistle, still threat, which is what he's had in this summer. Lindsey, one dribble, pull up. That's what he can do. It's all about being efficient in life and in basketball. Chart right to the corner. Bullock for three and the tie. Studs in transition. I would call that a transition bucket. Here's a turnover up ahead. Lindsey to the hoop. Able to get the roll. Bullock. Diallo puts it on the floor. Goes right at Karen Cancer. 16 14. Xavier now leading along the baseline. Bullock. He gets the shooter's touch. Play. Great job by the Friars. And a turnover here by Paul Scruggs, who's just checked in. Cartwright trying to push the tempo. And now Cartwright got it, and the foul. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 17. Bullock gets it in the corner for three. And Xavier up a little bit, unsure again. And eight nothing. Cantor to Marshall, Marshall trying to go underneath high low, the fourth turnover of the game so far. Jackson, nice lead. And a good finish by Makai Ashton Langford. Ashton Langford getting inside. Cartwright for three. Yeah. The Musketeers thus far. Cancer has it blocked in transition. He loses it. He thought he got fouled. Here comes Cartwright. Bounce pass for Jackson. Puts it in. And the foul. Shot clock down to eight. Cartwright threads the needle. What a pass by Kyron Cartwright. A reset. Lindsay left open in the corner for three. Knocks this one down. Those guys. Blewett turns it over. Kaiser Gates for three. That's short. Cancel with the offensive rebound. Has it blocked. Seventh block already. Cartwright pull up. Look like he slipped. Still puts it in. Scrubs. Hey. Has it poked away by Jackson. Here's Cartwright with 43 seconds to go. Shot clock to eight. Jackson for three. Hits it. Big shot. Jones. Quinton Gooden. Good with the ball now. Turns a corner. And that's another block. Into the hands of Jackson. Jackson. Beautiful oh. bounce pass. Cartwright bats a two, puts it in. Uh, against the zone, offensively. Quinton Gooden, Cartwright reaches in, strips it, Lindsay steals it. Robbins went man on that possession. Cartwright turned the corner and Woo! off the glass. The stanchion, Justin. I'm wondering if the fan was because he was wearing a Yankee hat here in New England. <laughs> Jackson for three, hits the three. Just have to point out how smart and, and how wonderful these fans here in Providence. The fans got loud on the defensive end, not just because their team did that. They get loud for that, too. <laughs> he was advantage with the reverse using that big body. Diallo, the free throw line shot. Backing him down. His teammates are staying out of the way, letting him go to work. Diallo's jumper is good. Jackson finds Lindsay, extra pass, Cartwright in the corner for three, got it! He grinds you down. And turns it over. Makira's got four fouls. Karam Cantor finds Blewett for three, has it blocked. Cartwright up ahead, Bullock, put it down! Jump straight up, heads up play again. Bullock just stretches. Jackson to the hoop, got it, and the foul! It's about situations in life helping you build character. Well, this game is a character builder. Got it, all the way to the hoop, misses. <laughs> Bullock has it, and that will do it. Providence will pull off the upset. The first time beating a top five team at home since February 24th, 2009, when they beat number one Pitt.